Congress may not be getting the message about wasting your tax dollars. A massive government spending plan that gets bigger by the day. The explosive growth of earmarks parallels the explosive growth of lobbyists in Washington. The national debt has grown too large for the national debt clock. He signed a bill stuffed with pork barrel spending, loaded with about 8,500 pet projects known as earmarks. A lawmaker who stays busy trying to swat away some of these big pork barrel projects, Congressman Jeff Flake of Arizona. Arizona Congressman Jeff Flake, an outspoken opponent of all these earmarks. Congressman Jeff Flake from Arizona has been named one of Esquire magazine's 10 best members of Congress. He is one of the best fighters of pork. The magazine calls him, quote, a true conservative and says that Republicans should, quote, learn from him. The notion that you have 2,000 earmarks in a defense defense appropriation bill is still absurd. If we can't, uh, you know, stop money from going to fruit fly research in France, then we certainly aren't going to uh, tackle the larger entitlement programs. In fact, it's led to corruption. We have uh, a couple of members of Congress in jail. This really is corrupting, uh, and uh, we, we really got to reverse course here in the Congress. Many of the earmark request forms were actually filled out by lobbyists and then just turned in uh, by the member staff to the Appropriations Committee. Many times, uh, the same lobbyists who are requesting these earmarks will then host fundraisers for a member of Congress. It's not a good thing uh, to carry this level of debt, to have this big a deficit. It was devastating today when uh, the Democrats were able to come out and say, well, Republicans have 40% of these earmarks. And it was true. It's a bipartisan addiction. Uh, both Republicans and Democrats are, are to blame here. We simply have to stop it. Where does it end? When do we say enough is enough? Jeff Flake's story is a familiar one. Immortalized 67 years ago in the film, Mr. Smith goes to Washington. You fight for the lost causes harder than for any others. 